I'm going to be discussing dosage um, and how it pertains in blood bank. This is a hard concept for some students, so I want to make sure to try to explain it um, a little more clearly. So you can see here I've got three different red cells. So this is populations for three different red cell, uh, three different people. So the first person you can see has homozygous big E expression. Now, you know that antigen sites, there are millions of them on every red cell. I am simplifying this with four to try to make the point a little more direct. Um, but don't forget, there are millions of these sites all over the red cell. So my first person has a population of all big E, homozygous expression of big E. Second person has a homozygous expression of little e, all little e, no big E on that cell, just little e. The third person has heterozygous expression of big E and little e on the red cells. So they got one big E allele from mom and one little e, e allele from dad or vice versa, and they have a heterozygous expression of big E and little e. So where this comes into play is if I have somebody with plasma and they have anti-E and we're trying to find blood to um, cross manage for them. And so in their plasma, they've got antibody, anti-E. And let's say it's a real strong antibody. They were recently transfused and so it's really, really strong. This could end up giving us a four plus expression in our tubes because it's all big E and nice and strong. This is gonna give us a negative expression. And because this one, this third one is heterozygous, it's gonna give us, let's say a two plus expression. Now I'm exaggerating a little here with how much dosage is gonna affect it, but it has half the amount, so we're gonna call it half the expression. So that is dosage. The four plus is a higher dose than the negative or the two plus because there's more big E antigen on that red cell to react with the anti-E. So where this becomes really important when we're antigen typing, we always say find the heterozygous expression cell to be your control, your positive control. And that is because if I get an anti-E from a person that is much weaker, let's say that I only get a one plus on the positive big E, big E dosage cell. And of course I'd still get the negative on the little E because there's no big E there. But this third cell, the heterozygous cell, I could potentially get a negative on if the uh, serum or plasma content of the anti-E is so low, it could show up as a negative. So if that my patient that I was looking at and my patient was negative, but my control was a homozygous, so it was positive, I would still call that a negative. So that is what dosage is and why dosage is so important in blood banking and why it's really important to make sure you get that heterozygous expression whenever you're doing your antigen typing. Hope this helps explain dosage.